here we go just arrived from Amazon Miracast wireless display dongle now this should allow you to uh, mirror what's on your phone um, i.e. pictures, that type of thing, without having to connect it a lead to the TV or take out your SD card. You can also um, cast or transmit, if you like, using wireless to the TV, um, any videos you like really, be it YouTube, uh, things from Facebook, um, films that you've got stored, um, personal uh, videos, of your family videos, that type of thing, anything like that, where you would normally have to put it onto a hard drive and connect it to the TV, put it onto a DVD, whatever. Um, you literally can just transmit it to the television wirelessly. All right, let's have a look and see what's in the box. What we've got the dongle itself. Got the instruction book. tells you what you can do, how to do it. This is quite interesting, you also got a micro USB that splits into two. One end of which is for your power, the other end of which is the Wi-Fi receiver. So that's how it actually receives the signal to transmit it to the TV via the dongle which is not a USB, it actually goes into your HDMI socket. So that is literally like plugging a lead into your television and just receives the information from this little thing here. Alright, let's see if we can get it set up. And see, the dongle itself literally just plugs into the HDMI socket. There's the power. Now that runs to the USB lead, which if you've got a modern television or even uh, maybe a Blu-ray player, whatever that's close enough, that can be powered from the TV or the Blu-ray itself. Um, it does say in the instructions that if you get any interference with your Wi-Fi, uh, it might be worth investing in, or if you've already got one, using a separate USB charger. Um, I've got an old phone charger that I can just plug it in straight into the top off, so rather than risk it having any interference, I've just done that straight away. And as I said, the other end of that lead goes to the Wi-Fi receiver. Right, let's uh, see how we get it on on the television. When you first plug it in, it'll, you just turn your TV to the input, whichever HDMI socket, i.e. HDMI 1 or 2, whatever, whichever one you plug it into. And uh, once it's powered up, that's exactly the screen you'll get. Now to run it, you need the software, um, which is essentially like a, an operating system, EasyCast. Now that, you can either scan on the screen there you can see a little square there and it will come up with um, if it's an Apple product obviously you'll go to iTunes or the iStore uh, Windows or your Google Play uh, to, to download the information now you can also download the same information by going to the EasyCast website on your laptop or computer right. now, once you've uh, downloaded the software you'll have your EasyCast icon. Click on that, it takes you to the EasyCast screen. From there, the bottom one is for, for cabled uh, connection, but we, we want to use the casting. And it will look for, there we go, there's the receiver in the back of the television. Then you would have to put in your password, and away you go. Right, let's see if it works. Incidentally, in the initial setup, I would recommend definitely getting the app for your phone, uh, be it a, 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 an Apple phone or, or an Android, um, just purely because there's a lot more control with your phone, and it's handy because you can just cast your pictures from here if you want to, or, or videos from it that you've taken on your phone as well. Um, but it does give you a lot more control, a lot more options through your phone. Uh, when, if it's on, um, uh, say for instance, a netbook, that I'm using here, you just go to the video you want to play, right click, gives you the option of casting to the device, there you see it, 
click on there and it should come up with a player. There's the player. Sometimes it will buffer to begin with. But there we go. Casting brilliantly, you wouldn't know. Well, there, as I said, sometimes it buffers just to a smidgen to get ahead of itself, and then the program will start, and away you go. Lovely piece of equipment.